Okay, so we're going to have a little look at how to assemble our components now. So what we've got in the picture here, I've got um, two chair legs, I've got a main seat body, I've got a seat cushion, I've got four little bolts. All of these things have been turned into components, so each one's a separate entity. So I, I drew the, the leg as a, as a sketch, turned it into an extruded body, then I turned it into a uh, component, then I duplicated by using Control c and Control v and the same thing with these little bolts. I've basically made one, I turned it into a component, and then I've duplicated it a few more times. They've all had colors added, so I want to kind of assemble this. So what should happen, if you look here, these holes should basically line up, okay? And the bolts should be able to go through the holes and into there. So this is what we're gonna try and do. We're gonna try and see how we can assemble all of this together. So first of all, I'm gonna go for trying to line up some of these um, little circles here the holes so I'm gonna go for assemble and I'm gonna go for a joint okay doesn't matter if it's moved some of my components um, I'm gonna choose first of all the thing that needs to move and then the thing it moves to so I'm gonna try and choose this inside circle here and I'm gonna try and join it to if I move in so I can see a bit better this bit here Okay, and you'll see that that actually does join up okay. Now, this one over, oops, let's get myself back where I can see what I'm doing. If this one over here didn't line up, then I could line those up as well. But as it happens, that does look like it's lined up quite nicely. So, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say okay to that, and I'm going to line up the bolts next. So, I'm going to put a bolt into a hole. So, here's my bolts. I'll zoom in on one of those, and I'm going to choose the same thing. A joint I go for this end bit here you can see it turns that sort of like uh, see-through to show that that's the thing that's been selected and I want to put it into this area here now when it goes in it's up to me how far in that joint goes so I can use this push handle and I can push it and that looks now like it's gone in far enough so that could be a real assembly okay I'm just gonna go off camera and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other three bolts and then I'll come back and show you the last little bit okay so all four bolts have gone in now uh, you can see that these joint um, little symbols to show there's joints there if you don't want to see that you can just turn off the little light bulb on joints this joints are still there and you can see down here these are all the, the joint um, symbols on the history timeline and you can go back and right click on any of those to re um, change these if you wanted to make them pull them back out again to show them disassembled or whatever it's up to you uh, the last thing we want to do is to position this the seat cushion basically on the bottom of that seat there so that can be done quite easily and probably the easiest way to do it is just to select the item itself we can double click it to select it and then right click and we can go for move and when we choose move um, you may have seen this before but you can position the actual item just manually by moving the different views around until you get it kind of where you want it and if it's not very accurate you can either zoom in and you can do it more accurately or you can change the actual numbers here so if this distance here if I want it to go a little bit more than 475 I could try typing in 477 and see if that's correct maybe one more mil 478 and see what that looks like and when I'm happy I can click OK let's go back to my 3D view and that's one way of positioning now you've got to just make sure that you haven't got it too deep because if I pushed it down I could actually make the cushion go inside the chair but that kind of thing is a quick and easy way of doing it. it's not as good as using proper joints but the move command will position things well enough for you to get some nice rendered images of your chair